Spiritual forces have so long been considered as being in the misty realm of theory that we are, as children, just becoming aware that our soul faculties can be applied in everyday life and that this awakening within makes us more useful in a material world. Therefore, being more conscious of our opportunities is a result of the awakening of our inner spiritual faculties. Are entering into a new world, the world of spiritual youth. As we develop, there will come urges and aptitudes previously unknown. Calls to service will come. May we be ready and willing. Each trial met and overcome is a means toward development. We should realize that each experience is an opportunity to test, to train, and to strengthen us. It is only little by little that we are able to overcome all things. In seeking to know that opportunity that is given each in the present, it is one thing to live that there may be presented to another that which will open another's opportunity. And it is for self to recognize and use the opportunity in self's own development. Do ever in self that thou knowest to be right, though it may make of self even an outcast to thy neighbor. If we do not watch ourselves and know that of ourselves we can do nothing, our life may become clogged with egotism, bitter resentment, petty jealousies, and evil thinking. We may fall so low that we can scarcely see good in any condition, person or thing. We should know self well enough to realize that the fault is within us and that we have within just what we see in others, else how could we recognize it? We must open the door to our inner selves and let in the Christ light, let our wills be one with his, listen to his voice, heed his call. To know self is an opportunity. To know self to be one with God is the supreme opportunity of man. For, as seen from a sojourn in an environment that is in the experience of this entity, in that of Jupiter. These influences deal more directly with impulses, inclinations, trend of thought, and that which produces same. It is much as the manner of dwelling in a particular clime or country influences an entity, as the entity experiences from the fatherland and the adopted land. Hence, as the customs or the laws of varied experiences or sojourns wield that trend of thought in an individual's experience in Earth's sojourn, so does the environ to the soul, and its soul body affect impulses in an entity's activities in a material sojourn. The entity then, in the name Schlenger, made for developments, being among those in the crusade army, and gained through the experience. For, with ideals. And the mental and physical body attuned to carry these out, the soul and mental development must ensue. Though the body physical may suffer or may be counted, from earth standards, as a failure. Rather did the entity, though, gain mentally, materially, physically, through the experience, rising in power, even in the land of the Moslems, and in those periods gained in the abilities to merit the better thought even of the persons, individuals or groups that were pitted at war against the entity and the group. And the experience. Roman incarnation. The entity gained and lost. For the entity remained true to that to which it had ever pledged itself through the experience, yet not hardened, not wavered, by those acts or activities of the peoples through the land. The entity in material things lost through the latter portion of experience, but gained much in the spiritual, for the entity gained in the services expended for country and for the peoples. The losses were only in creating hates that arose with some in higher positions. Do ever in self that thou knowest to be right, though it may make of self even an outcast to thy neighbor. Know in whom thou hast believed, for the spirit of right guards those who choose his way in directing the mental and material life. 
explain enlisting the aid of the angels and its spiritual and material significance to these particular entities. Every experience is an assurance. And as he has given, behold the face of the angels ever stands before the throne of God. The awareness in self that thou may be one with, equal with, the Father God, as his child, as the brother of the Christ, thy Savior, thy brother. And as the awareness comes, it is as the angel of hope, the angel of announcing, the angel of declaiming, the angel that would warn, the angel that would protect. For, these are ever as awarenesses, as consciousnesses of the abiding presence of that he hath, given his angels charge concerning thee, by that very desire that Lord, thy will be done in me today. Then from Saturn we find that changes have come into the social, the material, the mental and even spiritual attitudes of the entity. Yet, as has been indicated, only when the entity has turned to those promises of laws as concerning the relationships of an entity or soul to the creative forces, has the entity been able to meet. And the material. The disturbing forces which arose. Hence, there comes that indication that the entity is meeting problems which have been problems before. What causes, what produces problems in the experience of an entity? either in its mental or its material self. That of non-compliance to the laws, the purposes for which creative forces have given the opportunities to the individual entity. Are these, the entity asks, only of self's own making? Rather, there is the law, inasmuch as ye do it unto the least of these, my children, ye do it unto me.